Hey there, welcome to the Build's Microsoft Minute, a quick way to learn tips and tricks about Microsoft Office. Today's quick tip is all about mail messages as well as inbox options and Outlook web access. In this video we will cover composing, message options, sending and receiving, as well as tips for organizing your inbox. Everything in this video takes place on the mail component in OA, which is Outlook's web access. If you need the client access, we have a video for that as well. And remember, this is a video, so feel free to pause and play along if you'd like. I know you're curious, so let's take a closer look. Once you've logged into Outlook web access, click the mail icon to get started. To begin, there are several options that you can set up for viewing. Those are found under the settings menu as display settings. To compose a message, click New on the top menu. The message pane will appear. In the To Address line, type all or part of the name of the person you are sending to and click Enter. OA will search for the contact in our directory. You may be prompted to choose a name. Over time, OA will present the names of your frequent contacts. To search the directory, click the To button. To add recipients, repeat the previous steps or place the names under CC or BC. To allow the blind copy to appear, click the Menu option and choose Show BCC. If you're interested in creating a contact list, such as a list of all of your teammates, we'll discuss how to create a personal contact list later in this video. If you're thinking it's the group section to the left, think again. Next, write the subject and body content. If you want to format any of the text, click the menu options above the body. Did you see the emoji option? Remember to be professional, and if you must use them, less is more. Once you've composed your email, there are several options that you can apply to your message. To attach a file, click Attach in the top menu to navigate to your desired file. Alternatively, you can click and drag the file into the body of your message. There are several message options you can apply to your email. To set an importance, click the Menu Option button, hover over Set Importance, and choose High, Normal, or Low. In the same menu, you will find Message Options, where you can set the sensitivity, request a delivery, or read receipt. Sending your message couldn't be any easier. Simply click Send on the top menu and away your message goes. To view a message, click the message to view in the reading pane or double click to open in a separate window. To reply to a message, click the Reply option on the message pane. If you click the drop down next to the Reply button, you'll find several other options including Forward and other marking options. Some of these options are also found in the Inbox pane. Need to tidy up your inbox? We have you covered. If you want to categorize your emails, you can easily do this using the Categories top menu option. Along with color coding, you can rename and create any new categories as well. Please be aware that Sweep is a semi-dangerous tool. Sweep is intended to delete all messages you don't want, past, present, and future, from one sender. A better option is to use Delete. If you need to archive a message, click the Archive button on the top menu. Outlook stores messages for six months, so move important messages into the Archive folder. You will also have the ability to create subfolders with the Archive's main menu. To access your Archive folder, click the More option under Folders. Finally, as I mentioned earlier, there's a way to create contact lists, such as your entire team. That is done from a completely different app within OA. To get there, click the Menu option in the upper left corner and choose People. To create a contact list, click the New drop-down in the top menu and click Contact List. Name the list and add all the desired names. Once you're finished, click Save. Now that contact list will be available in the Mail app. As always, thanks for watching. For more detailed information about Outlook, be sure to sign up for any of our classes offered through the Build. If you like what you're watching, make sure to click subscribe. If you're interested in more Microsoft Minutes, click right here. We'll see you next time.